Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing on determination of reduced levels using fly leveling. If you want to check the level of any surface, the first thing what we have to know is the elevation or reduced levels of the point or the elevation of the respective surface which we had considered. So, if we want to determine the reduced levels of any point or any surface, we have different methods, we have different ways of uh, uh, determining determination of reduced levels. So, today we will be using uh, a method called height of instrument method with the help of fly leveling to determine the reduced levels. So, how to do it? So, I am just taking a small terrain like this. So, on this terrain, if you want to find out reduced levels of this terrain, so what I am doing, I am just considering different points on the terrain. My intention is we have to find out the reduced levels of all these seven points which was marked in this terrain surface. So, to do that, what we have to do first, first we have to set our instrument here. Either you can use dumpy level or you can use skewed light to determine the reduced levels. So, first what we had to do, we had to set the required instrument in a place from where you can able to determine the reduced levels of unknown points. If I want to determine the reduced level of point 1, the first thing we should know the RL of a known point. So, here since uh, this is an unknown terrain surface, we do not know the exact value of a known point. So, for that what we are doing for our convenience, we are considering a point which we call it as an arbitrary benchmark. So, I am considering this is a arbitrary benchmark. As we know, we have four different types of benchmarks. The first one is GTS benchmark, second one is permanent benchmark and third one is temporary benchmark and fourth one is arbitrary benchmark. So, this is the benchmark. The benchmark we considered to determine the reduced levels for the terrain surface, we call it as an arbitrary benchmark, which is it is just an arbitrary value. It is not the actual value which you got from the actual mean sea level. So, with the help of this benchmark, we have to find out the RLs of the remaining points which was marked on this terrain surface. So, how to do it? So, to determine the reduced levels of all these points, first what we had to do? We had to find out the height of instrument first. So, for that what we had to do? With the help of the dumpy level or with the help of theod light and with the help of the leveling step, we are going to find out the reduced levels of all the unknown points. So, for that what you had to do? So, this is your leveling staff. So, first you should know how to read the leveling stuff first, just like how you are reading the scale in the same way you should know how to read the leveling stuff first. If you know that, then what we had to do, you had to take the leveling stuff and you had to keep the or place the leveling stuff on the known arbitrary benchmark. So, generally you can consider the benchmark value as your wish. So, generally we consider as 100 meters or you can take it as 0 meters or 200 meters or 1000 meters is your wish. But for this, for the time being, I am considering the arbitrary value of the benchmark as 100 meters. Now, with the help of this known value, we had to find out, as we know, we had to find out the RLs of the remaining the 7 points which was marked in the same surface. For that, what we are doing first? We are taking the leveling staff and we are keeping on the known point, that is known benchmark. Now, this is your position of the leveling staff on the benchmark. Now, what you had to do? With the help of this dumpy lever or the theod light, you had to take the back side onto this leveling step. So, here I am just considering some arbitrary values. So, let us consider the back side on this benchmark as 1.5 meters. Later taking the back side, you had to take the four side values. So, after you set the benchmark that is called this is called back side and whatever the point that you are taking in the in the forward direction, we call it as foresight. So, all these are generally all these points whichever you can see from this station, generally we call it as foresights. But generally the last point which you can see from the station which you had kept, generally we take it as a foresight and remaining all points we consider it as 
intermediate sites. So, as we know on this terrain if you look if you observe that from this instrument station you can able to see 1, 2, 3, 4 points you can able to see and you can't you, you cannot see so let us take this is your this is the height of your leveling staff. So, from this station you can't able to see this point 5. So, for that what we have to we will see later. So, first we have to set our instrument instrument in a place where the known value and the unknown value we can able to see. So, first you had kept your instrument here from this you can able to see the known value that is a benchmark and you can able to see the unknown value that is 0.1. So, first take the back side by placing the leveling staff on the benchmark and I am considering the height of the leveling staff with respect to the instrument as 1.5 meters. So, this is your back side. Now, now you are taking the intermediate side on 0.1. So, I am considering it as 1.2 meters and later take your leveling staff and move on to point 0.2 and same from this instrument station you cite point 0.2 and I am assuming the height as 1.3 meters and I am considering the same passion I am forwarding take, I am taking the leveling staff and just forwarding further. So, I am considering the height of the leveling staff on point 3 as 1 meter and on point 4 as point 0.7 meters. Now, as we know from this instrument station you could able to see only point 4 after point 0.4 assume that you can't able to see point 0.5 and point 0.6, point 0.7. So, what we had to do? So, what we had to do? We had to shift our instrument from one place to another place in such a way that wherever you are shifting your instrument from that instrument you should you can able to see the previous known point as well as the unknown point which you have to find out the reduce level. So, now this is your new instrument position. So, from this instrument position you have to find out the RLs of 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 like that you have to proceed further. If you cannot able to see the point the only thing we had to do we had to shift our instrument from one place to another place in such a way that after you shifted your instrument from that place we can able to see the previous known point as well as the unknown point. So, now from this instrument as we got to know that we cannot able to see point 5 what we had to do we had to shift our instrument from from station 1 to station 2. So, we got as change point. Now, these are now our instrument is at this position now. So, now again what we are doing we if we want to find out RL of 0 0.5 and RL of 0 0.6 and so on first thing we should know some known value right. So, to determine the known value what 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 is the thing we have here we cannot able to see benchmark again from this position. So, the only possibility for us is that so we should know the reduce the level of 0 0.4. So, assuming that I know the reduce level of 0 0.4 how to do it we will see again we, we had to do some calculations to determine the reduce levels of 0 0.4. So, now after getting the reduce level of 0 0.4 with the help of this reduce level I am going to find out RLs of 0 0.5, 6 and 7. So, to do that again what we have to do after setting or after shifting your instrument from station 1 to station 2 again you have to take back sight on the same point 0 0.4. Again you have to take foresight on point 0.4. 5.6 and if you check that you cannot able to see 0 0.7 from station 2. So, to find a reduce of 0 0.7 again what we had to do? We had to shift the instrument from station 2 to other no other place from that place or from that position you can able to see the previous known point and the unknown point. So, now I am assuming the intermediate I am assuming this uh, the height of the leveling staff on 0 0.5 as 1.6 meters and similarly you can able to see 0 0.6 from the same instrument station I am considering this height of leveling staff as 1.2 meters and as you got to know from this station 2 you can't able to see 0 0.7 again what we had to do we had to shift our instrument from station 2 to other station. So, I am shifting the instrument from station 2 to station 3. So, this is my station 3 again this is change point. So, I am considering it as change point 1 this is change point 2. 
So again, what we had, we had to keep our leveling stuff here. We had to keep our leveling stuff here, take a back sight as well as take a fore sight. So, I am considering the back side as 2.1 meters and fore side assume it as 0.8 meters. So, now what we what we had done? So, we have a terrain surface like this. So, on this terrain surface, we want to find out RL of all the different points on the surface. So, for that what we had to do? With the help of some known value, we had done some uh, survey, an open survey to determine the to determine the reduced levels of all the unknown points. So, after you got the height of leveling staffs, we had to do some calculations. So, to determine the reduced levels of all these seven points, so first what, what, we, what we should know is RL of the known point, that is RL of the first point, that is the arbitrary benchmark. So, initially we had considered the arbitrary benchmark value as 100 meters. Now, using this 100 meters and using this height of the leveling staff, we had to calculate the height of instrument. So this is very important. So without calculating the height of instrument, we can't able to calculate the reduced levels. It is very simple for us. So how to calculate the height of instrument? So what you had to do? So to this the, to this known value, that is to this known benchmark value, you had to add the backside value, the first backside value, that is 100 plus 1.5, that is 101.5 meters is the height of instrument of the station 1. So now with the with the help of this height of instrument, we are going to find out reduced levels of other points. So now first I have to find out reduced level of point 1. So if I want to find a reduced level of point 1, as we know, we should know the height of instrument first. We already calculated the height of instrument as 1 at 1.5 meters. So if I want to find out RL of this point, what should I do? So from this height, if I reduce this height, I can able to find out the RL of this point. So that is RL of point 1 is equal to 101.5 minus 1.2 meters. That is 100.3 meters is RL of point 1. In the same passion, we have to proceed further for point 2, point 3, point 4 and so on. In the same passion, if I want to find out RL of point 2, what should I do? So RL of this point 2 is equal to height of instrument is 101.5. This is your height of instrument. So from this height of instrument, this is your line of sight, right? So from this, if we reduce this height, we'll get RL of this point. So this is 101.5 minus the height of this leveling stuff on this point is 1.3. So if we reduce it, then it is 100.2 meters is RL of 0.2. Similarly, RL of 0.3 is 101.5 minus 1.0, that is 100.5 meters. The similarly, the last point which we can able to see is 0.4 from station 1. So, the RL of 0.4 with respect to the height of instrument of station 1 is 1 out 1.5 minus, this is 0 0.7, this is 8. So now we got the RL of 0.4 also. So up to, up to 0.4 we got reduced levels. Now with the help of this reduced level of 0.4, we had to calculate the reduced levels of 0 0.5, 0 0.6 and 0 0.7 because as we know, we can't able to see the 0 0.5 from station 1. So that's why we had shifted from station 1 to station 2. So now this is your instrument station. So we had assumed the back sight with respect to this station as 0 0.9 meters. This is this is the back sight. This is your back sight. So if we had taken the back sight, you assume it as 0 0.9 meters. and so if we want to find out RL of these points, first what we have to do again? We have to calculate the height of the shifted instrument station. So to find out this height of instrument, again what should we have to do? So with the help of this known RL, if we add this height, we can able to get this height of instrument. So that is, we already got the reduced level of 0.4 as 100.8 meters. 
So to this, if you add this total height, and it's a back side, that is 100.8. So this height of instrument is 100.8 plus 0.9. This 101.7 meters is your new height of instrument. <coughs> now, with the help of this height of instrument, we are going to find out RL of 0 0.5 and 0 0.6. So, the same passion we have to follow, just like how we determine the reduce level of previous points. So, if you want to determine the reduce level of 0 0.5, what should we have to do? So, from this height of instrument, if you reduce this height, you can able to determine the RL of this 0 0.5. That is 101.7 minus 1.6, that is 100.1 meters is the RL of 0 0.5. In the same passion, RL of 0 0.6 is 101.7 minus, we considered it as 1.2 meters from this instrument station. So, that is 100.5 meters is RL of 0 0.6. Again, we can't able to see the 0 0.7 from instrument station 2. So, we shifted instrument from 0 0.2 to 0 0.3. The moment you shifted your instrument, again you had to find out the height of instrument. So, to determine height of instrument, we should know RL of 0 0.6. So, we already got the RL of 0 0.6 as 100.5 meters. So, if you want to find out this height of instrument, the value of this is 100.5 plus this height. This entire height, we assume it as the back side is 2.1 meters. So, that is 102.6 meters is the height of this third instrument station. So, with the help of this instrument station height, we have to find we are going to find out RL of 0.7. So, RL of 0.7 is equal to height of instrument minus this four side, this height. So, that is height of instrument is 102.6 minus 0 0.8, that is this is 8. So, 101.8 8 meters. So, this is how we have to determine the reduced levels of all the points on a terrain using fly leveling.